Hi, in this demo, we are going to showcase a few commands that we added to, to audio during the past sprint. Um, so the commands that I'm going to, to demo allow to manage namespaces, basically. Um, so let's get started. Um, so the first command that we added is the ability to, to list namespaces. So this will, if I run audio list namespace, it will return the list of namespaces along with the currently active one. Um, one important thing to note is that um, this command also has an alias called project, which um, if I run it on OpenShift, it will return the, the list of projects with the currently active one. Um, so the command and the alias um, is smart enough to determine um, the context um, in which I'm running. So if I run audio list namespace in um, OpenShift, it will return the list of projects. And if I run audio list project in Kubernetes, it returns the list of namespaces. Um, so the next command that we added is the ability to create namespaces or project. So let's say I want to create my ns namespace so as you can see above it creates the namespace in kubernetes and um, one additional thing that is it does is setting the this new namespace as the currently active one so we can see here for my for my shell prompt that you have switched from the default one to the my ns one um, so as i said earlier um, so we also have the alias as well, which does the same thing. Um, we also added namespace input namespace validation here. So I can validate if I run, if I enter something that is not valid, um, the command will tell, 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 tell me um, right away that this is not compliant. So this is done before submitting the command to, to the cluster. Um, so as we create something, we might, we also might need to delete it. So we also added the ability to delete a namespace. So let's say I will delete the previous namespace. Um, so as we all command that delete something and I need confirmation, um, unless I pass a, um, a dash dash force option. So in this case, I, so we can see above that it's terminating the, the namespace and uh, also deleting it. Um, and the last command that we added is the ability to set the currently active namespace or project. So I can switch from my NS2 to the default one. And this um, essentially, essentially modifies my current cube config configuration file in order to set the, the currently active namespace. You can see it from the from the prompt. Um, that's it for these demos. Um, if you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you.